This is History Myths and Myth Conceptions, and today's myth is Septimius Severus was the first black emperor. This is the modern myth that is surprisingly getting more and more traction. Most of the people who have some knowledge of the history of ancient Rome openly laugh at the idea of Septimius Severus being black, but the idea is still out there and it started to produce such wild works of fiction like the book Severus the Black Caesar. I must admit that I've never read the book myself, and it is possible, although not very probable, that this is the best piece of English literature ever written, from the point of language and style and, you know. But the whole idea of making Septimius Severus black and using this device to attract attention because it kind of fits the current political climate, uh, this is just ugly, on many levels. And it does no favor to anyone or anything. It has nothing to do with the history of Rome, and it can be considered a bit insulting for the actual black people. The whole thing about black emperor quite probably evolved from the fact that Septimius Severus was from Africa. And to be precise, he was not only from the continent of Africa, but from a Roman province called Africa. He was born in the city of Leptis Magna, on the territory of uh, present-day Libya, not far from the current capital Tripoli. Actually, the name Tripoli comes from Regio Tripolitania, literally the region of three cities. Tripolis means uh, three cities in Greek. One of these three cities was Leptis Magna, originally a Phoenician colony. Later it became a part of the Carthaginian Empire, uh, the most powerful of the Phoenician states, and then obviously a part of the Roman Empire. Sometime after, the people of Leptis Magna were granted Roman citizenship. So, Lucius Septimius Severus was a Roman citizen, and then a prominent general. But he wasn't really a Roman. He was a Carthaginian slash Phoenician. Phoenicians are something like an umbrella term for the different related groups who spoke related dialects or languages. None of the ancient nations lasted into the modern times, so it is impossible to point at some modern nation and say, hey, look at this guy, he's Phoenician. Although, as you probably know, uh, for the purposes of uh, nationalism and stuff like that, it is sometimes presented that, yes, uh, the Romans of antiquity and the modern Italians are basically the same thing. Uh, the Celts and the French are pretty much the same if you use some imagination. The ancient Jews and the modern Jews are absolutely the same people. Modern Greeks are definitely completely unrelated to anyone in Turkey and vice versa. Uh, Romanians are Dacians. Uh, Jesus Christ was born to Croatian parents. And Hungarians are... Well, the list can go on forever and it all deserves a separate video. Muammar Gaddafi uh, could actually declare Septimius Severus an ancient Libyan hero, Arab slash Berber, uh, the first Muslim emperor, or whatever. Arminius is a national hero of Germany, so practically the same thing. Anyway, Phoenicians. Uh, Phoenicians were a Semitic group, and they probably included Arabs, who spoke a related language. The second wife of Septimius Severus, Julia Domna, was from Syria, and these days she's usually identified as an Arab. And back then, she was considered a member of a group related to Carthaginians, a Phoenician in a broad sense. And the region of Syria is considered the birthplace of Phoenicians, who later colonized different parts of the Mediterranean. So, if you want to really, really simplify things and speak in modern terms, Septimius Severus was something like an ancient Arab. His skin pigmentation was slightly dark, as we can see from this portrait of the Severan family. Uh, calling him a Black Caesar is, in a way, like calling Saddam Hussein a Black Kennedy, because, uh, well, because Hussein was an Arab and he was a leader of his country. 
There is no logic here. And yes, I know that Caesar is not only a name, but also a title. So what's next? Genghis Khan? Because, you know, Mongols are black if you turn off the light. In the end, no, Septimius Severus is not related to sub-Saharan black people, not ethnically and not culturally. And he's not related to modern groups like African Americans. He was a Carthaginian, and he was a very controversial figure, so there is no point in trying to retroactively include him in your ethnic, social, cultural, or any other group. And yes, I have to mention that there is a famous anecdote about Septimius Severus and the Ethiopian soldier from Historia Augusta. I'm not going to quote it here, as Historia Augusta is notoriously unreliable. And many actual present-day Ethiopians don't really consider themselves black, so yeah. But Septimius Severus, according to Historia Augusta, didn't like the skin color of the Ethiopian guy and considered it a bad omen. Uh, that's your Black Caesar. 